I am here to test. Hello. Well, we're back. We're back, we're back. Oh, we're back. Let me just... There we go. We're back and we're gonna continue Sun and Sun's route. And hopefully finish off because we're in chapter three and there's only two more chapters left. Including chapter three. I hope that made sense. Let's get into it. Cries of foul play dodged, dogged, dogged the Shinsengumi after their infamous colonel, Kesuke Sanan, deserted them. He was immediately branded as a traitor. This part is very interesting. And I mean very interesting if you know the history behind the actual Shinsengumi. No, ah, oh, man. I just looked at my microphone and I have some charms on it. One of them is of Yamazaki and he's back on his side again and I'm just like, why? I had you fixed last night. Aside from Heisuke, the rest of the Fury Corps had emptied from their rooms as well adding fuel to the chaotic rumors catching flame within the Shinsengumi. San and San, I had assumed, somehow convinced the rest of his men to accompany him, and off they went. Initial plans surfaced to organize a search party with the intent of doing... Uh, doing? Dueling justice, and demanding that San and San answer for his perceived crimes, but... Because the Shinsogumi had been putting the majority of their resources into leaving for Aizu, the plans were quickly abandoned. Nothing ultimately came of Sanansa's disappearance, save for the internal smearing of his good name. I, of course, made my case against doing so. Sanansa was incapable of the accu accusations flung at him. He was too logical, too loyal to be sus suscept susceptible to the temptation of treason, so there had to be a reason. That rhymed. However, for as long as he was absent, 
There was no way for him to defend himself, and subsequently, my well-intentioned belief fell on deaf ears. In the end, the Shinsugumi permitted me to leave after I made a passionate case for my resignation. Whoa! I fled to my house in Edo in order to regroup myself. This is... Holy... Okay. Wow. I, uh... I... Uh, damn. I didn't expect that. This is coming from somewhere deep. Holy shit. Both Hichikata-san and Heisuke expressed their disapproval in my request, making my departure a cri a criminous to some degree. But I had to remain steadfast in Edo. A few lonely days passed in the blink of an eye. <sighs> I guess finding someone who doesn't want to be found is more difficult than I anticipated. I spent each day wandering around Edo, hoping to escape the confines of Yukimura Clinic, which hosted its own set of complex, unresolved feelings for me. By dusk, my legs were cramped, and I became listless, realizing how futile searching for Sanon-san was turning out to be. How easily the bitter heart grows weary. It was better than doing nothing, I suppose. Maybe just a little bit longer today. I lost myself in the busy noise of the city, dragging my feet in rebellion as I fought the urge to, co to collapse. There was nothing for me here in Edo. No father, no son on son. Not a single member of the Shinsengumi left. So much time had passed since I was last truly alone that I hadn't the faintest idea what to do with myself. It took everything inside of myself to swallow my pride and my fear, and I performed one more lap around Edo as the sun dipped into the horizon. Yet again, my search was fruitless, and no leads of sun of sun came into view. I returned home empty-handed. I'm home. <laughs> Yo, what? Uh my self-deprecating declaration was met with a response which caused me to shriek. Yeah, I would too, because I'm supposed to be alone at home. Little had I known, two visitors came to my home. Familiar faces from my days in Kyo. It was none other than... Sen? Kimi Giku? Odoro <笑>私も勇めはしたのですが。はい。どうせなら驚かせた方が楽しいでしょ。千鶴ちゃんのびっくりした顔も見られたし。どうまいかつん。あ、you <笑> ちょうしょ果たすべき用事がありまして、つい先日江戸入りしたばかりです。その際、新選組が合図に立ったことと、あなたが江戸に残ったことを聞き及びまして。あなたが新選組から離れてると思わなかったから驚いたわ。何かあ
どうもこの一件私たちも無関係じゃないみたいね What do you mean? 私たちが江戸入りした理由は新政府軍に羅折を提供している雪村行動を追うためです娘であるあなたには悪いけど行動は鬼の一族でありながら鬼のまがいものを生み出すやから痩せの一族を束ねる者として彼を放っておくわけにはいかないわ Does that mean you plan on killing him? 風間ならそうするでしょうねでも同族ですもの殺さずに何とかしたいと思ってるいや風間は just straight up would kill him right そしてあなたもうすうすさしているとは思いますがあえて言わせてください今の話を聞く限り三男さんは行動のところへ向かった可能性が高いです I know s a n a s a n was wholly devoted if not utterly obsessed with researching and improving the water of life as a fury there weren't plenty there weren't plenty of places for him to hide outside of the Shinsengumi the revelation was a bitter pill to swallow Sen noticed my discomfort, shifting herself towards me. もし彼が行動の下にいるとしたら、羅折の研究に手を貸している可能性もある。その上で聞くわ。千鶴ちゃん、あなたは三男さんに会ってどうしたいの ?I bit my lip in hesitation, telling Sen, I want to speak with him! I want to speak with him. If anything, I felt she would appreciate my candor. I mean, I haven't had a chance to get his side of the story. I believe he deserves a chance to explain his departure, especially if he's working with my father. People often beat Sanan San as an unfeeling cynic, but there was more to him than his cold exterior. He valued the members of the Shinsengumi with all of his heart. Perhaps more than some of those who wore their hearts on their sleeve. In fact, he sacrificed being able to participate in civilian life as a yawn, as a yawn appeared, goddammit. In fact, he sacrificed being able to participate in civilian life to continue serving as their colonel, albeit as a fury lingering in the shadows. It was a burden few others could ever bear. Who else could have done it? Was anyone ever really equipped to become a fury? Perhaps his dedication to his research was a testament to this question. Pardon me if I sound stubborn, but it just fails me to think San and San would betray his closest allies. At the very least, we owe it to ourselves and to him to have his position clarified before we decide his fate. So this guy. Are we just gonna go on a mission with the girls? Because I fucking love this. Kimikiko nodded, turning to face Sen, who returned the gesture with a kind smile. Together, we sat in silence. Words seemed to form on the tip of Sen's tongue, and not once, but twice, she seemed eager to speak. Finally, she blurted out. Oh my god! So, not only is in modern times Sen obsessed with the, the fact of Chizuru eventually falling in love,、uh, also here. <laughs> And I fucking love this. What? What makes you say that? That's so, this is so. I'm not going to be a good one. So, I'm not going to be a good one. I'm not going to be a good one. Well, I'd been so preoccupied with finding him, perhaps I haven't devoted enough time to asking myself why. Sen made a compelling argument, one that I had yet to consider. I gently touched the center of my forehead. It was as if he marked me, and I fixated on the faint sensation of his lips tenderly kissing me that night. 
I found myself replaying the intimate encounter, and soon my heart was overflowing with warmth. Sen pursed her lips in contemplation, fiddling with her hands before addressing Kimikiku. Okiku, Kimikiku performed a boyish bow, tilting her head upwards to share an assuring smile with me. あなたは三男さんを探したい。私たちは行動の行方を突き止めたい。そして二人は一緒にいる可能性が高い。ということは、千鶴ちゃん、私たち協力できればよね。Yes! Give me more time with the girls! I mean, would that be okay with you two? もちろんです。I will say this over and over again. Uh, one of these two should have been a root. And I'm so sad that neither are. Yokeena I've had an idea stuck in my head for so long, and that includes, um, another remake of Hakuoki, but let's add a unlockable second protagonist that takes place in an alternate timeline. I want to flush this idea out so bad. It's brain rot at this point. I can't. I can't thank the two of you enough. I said the first thing that came to mind and quickly bowed out of reflex, hoping they would accept my humble gratitude. Gaining the assistance of two confident battle-tested demons was a blessing for me, as I had submitted to the possibility of handling the undertaking alone. Every second... Every second a yawn is going to appear from out of my body. Every second the Impaler army marched forward. We scoured Edo for any rumblings of fury to sightings. No one stone had been left unturned, and together the three of us probed, ever, probed every reported murder in the city. Kimikyuki was adept at eavesdropping, asking enough passerby to begin gathering meaningful leads that led to the location of Father and the growing Fury Corpse. Just as easily as we procured useful clues, however, there was no shortage of terrible news from the, war, from the war's front lines, reaching us all the way from Aizu. Isami Kondo, illustrious chief of the Shinsegumi, was arrested and beheaded in the shameful display at the Itabashi execution grounds, much to my dismay. Dead! Gah. Not dead. I staggered upon hearing the news, clutching my racing heart with a clammy hand. Kondo-san, who had shown me nothing but kindness and hospitality during my time under his care, had been executed with neither clemency nor honor. It was a devastating blow for the Shinsengumi, whose morale was already teetering, even more so with the loss of their charismatic tailsman. I wondered where San and San was throughout all of this. Did he have any chance or desire to mourn the loss? Well, we're gonna find out. Summer loomed in the near future, evidenced by the fallen cherry blossoms cascading into our source onto our source. Ba 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 ba. 
back. The fallen cherry blossoms cascading onto our sho sore shoulders. God fucking damn it. Which were tired and slumped with grief. After days of investigation, Sen, Kimikiku, and I were gathered to deliberate on a fresh lead provided by Kimikiku's hawk alike diligence. Does this mean we're giving Kimikiku a hawk as a pet? I think it does. There's Uno again! I don't like the sound of that! Yo! No! No! I refuse! I. Hi. Genzai, so no shoe henwa. Sucho ni watate tachiri ga kinjirare. Jumi mo taiko sasarare teimas. Is it because Lord Yoshinobu is currently resided at Kan Kanai Temple? Kanai Temple? Upon his return to Edo, Lord Yoshinobu Tokugawa notoriously spent his penance following his disastrous showing in Kyo, holed up in Ueno's Kanai Temple. It hadn't surprised me in the slightest to consider that the temple was well fortified in a glorified attempt to save face. Sen hadn't shared in my amusement. She crossed her arms in frustration, shaking her head sternly. うん。それは不自然ね。先日江戸城が新政府軍に明け渡されたうん。Wait, does that mean there's some other reason for why the temple is initiating drastic measures? Do you think Shogi Company is gearing for battle? Hi. Shinsei Fugun no Ichibu ga yoru no uchi ni ue no e to idou shita keiseki ga arimasu. Dead of night? Performing espionage missions was one thing, but doing so while the building was already under the Imperial Army's jurisdiction was curious behavior. There must have been another reason why. Two options sprung to mind immediately. Either the unit wasn't capable of moving during the day, or they intentionally obscured their movements. Maybe it's the Imperial Army's furies? If anything were to happen, we'd have no idea. I presume that father was leading the Fury Corps. So too, could we guess that Sanan san was somewhere in his mist, though I hoped otherwise. Hell no! I want to join you. If somehow, defying all prayerless odds, we managed to infiltrate the temple and confront Sanamsa and our father, what words could I even comfort them with? My heart ached as I struggled to find them, but for now, all we could do was prepare to embark. I don't want to go to Ueno. Cannon fire shook the ground with, with piercing bombast as we edged closer to Ueno. Imperial soldiers were stationed on every street corner leading towards Kanae Temple, including the main entrance we had originally hoped to use. Ueno, at one point, a central hub for the exchange of cultural ideals, was reduced to a military blockade. As Kimikiku had foretold, the well-armed guard served as a serious de deter deterrent for anyone planning on traveling through the residential area. It was just like you said. This gives me the creeps. So, yeah. But they're fighting, but they Kimikiku 
Kimikiku moved so swiftly it looked as though her feet floated above the cobblestone. An amber sunset bit the light of the day farewell, covering our surroundings in a dim, orange hue. We took advantage of the limited exposure to sneak through a dense forest just outside of the temple. Hmm. From here, it looks like a straight shot into Kanei Temple. Let's keep going. We all glanced towards the town, noticing that the exchange of cannon fire halted in the distance. Was the battle over, I wondered? Were we too late? No sooner had the words left Kimikiku's mouth when glimmers of moonlight eked through the tree branches rustling overhead. Despite Kimikiku's warning, I saw it. The nauseating scent of rust filled my nose, thickening in the air like a stale, damp fog. I had to stop myself from gagging as I realized what we were looking at. Bodies torn and disemboweled beyond recognition, drained of blood like plums pressed without juice. It's horrible. This is the same I don't like where this is going. Alright, Sen. Kimikiku, please watch out for yourselves. The two of them nodded and slinked into the darkness. All of a sudden, I found myself alone. I shut my eyes, clearing my mind and taking in a deep breath. Nerves were getting the better of me. First things first, I need to find any signs of Sanon Sun or Fa. I hadn't taken more than two steps when. <laughs> A slender hand shot out from the darkness, covering my mouth and muffling my desperate shriek. It was. Bitch, where have you been? Mm. Without moving the rest of my body, I tepidly nodded. Sun on Sun waited for a second and released his hold. As soon as Sanasan -san took his arms off of me, I ignored my promise, grabbing a hold of him while frantically speaking under my breath. Sanasan, -san, what are you doing here? How do you expect me to stay quiet? Do you have any idea how long I've been searching for you? Boy!。As if he had any right to complain, Sanasan shook his head, speaking in a pedantic tone of voice. Well, I'm risking my life coming all the way out here because there's something I wanted to ask of you. I wanted to know why you left the Shinsengumi. What? Hmm. 
当は君が来なかった方がずっと話は簡単だったというのにそれでも君が来てくれたことが嬉しいと思ってしまう自分がいるとは本当に皮肉な話です What do you mean? 説明したいところですが今は時間がありませんただでさえ新政府のラセス兵がここまでやるとは思わなかったのでサナンソンズ・アイズ・ダーデン・ナーヴィスリー・ザ・ライン・オフ・コープス・ストローン・アンダー・ネーザ・フィーディー・ユー・スクウィンティディーサナンソン・ディー・ユー・ノー・ワー・ハプンディーええ新型ラセスといえども吸血衝動までは克服できなかったようです常に暴走の危険があるラセツを抑えるためには定期的に血を飲ませなければならない大部隊ともなればそれだけの血を手に入れられる戦場が必要となります Wait, so this is what all the fighting in Ueno was about? ええ、本当なら江戸城を攻撃して戦を起こすつもりだったのでしょうその目論みが外れて急遽この寛永寺で起こした戦というわけですしかし私といえどもこれだけの血の海では血の匂いに当てられて Ladies and gentlemen we welcome round three Sanansan's pupils dilated as he kept his stare fixed, fixed on the corpses, which frightened me to the core. I chose to, and say it with me, give him blood. His bloodshed eyes filled with a starly shade of crimson, which was followed by a violent tremble throughout his restless, feeble limbs. Cravings for blood inspired anguish beyond compare. Sanan san, stay strong! <laughs> A haunting, sadistic glow dazzled behind Sanan san's red eyes, which convinced me that he might be. Might begin festering on the bodies scattered around us. In a fit of panic, I unsheathed my kodachi to lacerate my forearm as, recomp as recompense. If it's blood that you crave, then please drink mine. He was kissed by a touch of insanity. Sanan san dove towards my arm in eager anticipation, lapping up my trickling blood like a starved canine. <sighs> I paid him no mind as he engorged on my fluids, as I felt entranced by the dull sting of his mindless sucking. This is a fucking sentence. There was satisfaction to be taken in knowing that I, above the Shoki Company's tragic remains, could do something to soothe Sun and Sun's rapacious thirst. <sighs> I ran my fingers through Sun and Sun's hair, tugging slightly in response to the touch of his avid sensual mouth. That is also another sentence, holy shit. そうに語っておきながら自分自身が血に当てられてしまうとは君がいてくれたおかげで助かりましたありがとう雪村くん All that matters to me is that you're safe 
After his refectory period, San Anselm's condition seemed to stabilize, and he patted his snug clothing before pointing to me to follow him towards the temple. As San Anselm led me towards Kane Temple's entrance gate, my stomach turned upon the sight of dozens of bodies, or what remained of them, below us. Initially, I had wished that I could become numb to the sight, but I pondered if such a thing were worse. Mm, eh, I'm fine. Just feeling a little nauseous. ありませんこんな惨状を見続けていれば羅説ならずとも正気を保てなくなりますあそういえば雪村くここへはまさか君一人で来たのですか No, earlier this evening, Sen and Kimikiku escorted me here. They should be joining us any minute now. I lost track of the time and began wor growing anxious. It had been nearly half an hour, perhaps more, since I last saw them, yet neither of them could be found. Forgive me for asking, son and son. Would it be okay if I were to go looking for them? I'm afraid that they might have gotten caught up in something. <laughs> ここで邪魔されては、あちらとしても困るでしょうから。ああ。なったガールズ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
私は脱走した今もそう思っていますあエクセルバスキングのグローアブリーフ It was short lived, however, as Sun and Sun continued without a change in his expression. This is the end of the day. The end of the day is the end of the day. The end of the day is the end of the day. The end of the day is the end of the day. The end of the day is the end of the day. The end of the day is the end of the day. The end of the day is the end of the day. 影の存在なのでしょうサナンサンズ・ワーズ・ウォッティンシュ・ウォッティン・アスバリアズ・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォッティン・ウォラセツの居場所などありませんサナンサン delivered his acerbic criticism coldly leaving me with no rebuttal from my peripheral I saw father prance in delight towards his new colleague and from his tone of voice I could tell he had been reliving re, 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 reveling in this there you go reveling それでは三男君、ここで改めて聞かせてもらおう。以前、鳥羽伏見でも告げたが、君は羅刹大使ともども私たちの側につくのかねええ。他に道はありませんか Well, this is something. Why? Why, son and son? How could you? My knees buckled from shock, trying my best not to give in to an overwhelming feeling of defeat. I held my head low, and Sanan san responded with a mere shake of his head. Sugo no warui koto kara meo somukeru yo dewa, shin sen gumi ni mirai nado arimasen. Somo somo kondo san ga nakunatta ima, shin sen gumi wa mo shin sen gumi dewa nai. My worst fears were unraveling before my eyes. San Hansen had given into the darkness, and now Father had gained the missing piece to his puzzle. The bellow in Sun and Sun's voice was fueled by unstoppable conviction, and I dropped to my knees in disbelief. I was in the den of the beast, a cave built upon lies. Before I could react, Kaoru stretched his arm at me, wrapping his slimy fingers around my wrist. Ew! <laughs> I'm sorry. Slimy fingers! It's just. I know what they mean, but actual slimy fingers, no. I instinctively darted my line of sight towards San and San, carrying a faint hope that he'd rescue me. But it was useless, and his blank, glassy eyes remained unmoved as Kaoru yanked me closer to his body. No! Let go of me! Oh! Oh, yes! Gobuchi,ですか?Chizuru-san?Sen!Kimikiku! The girls are here! The girls shall stick together! <laughs> Four 
fortune smiled upon me as Sen and Kimikiku leapt into the fray, intervening between myself and Kaoru with, with swords drawn. Out of frustration, Kaoru lashed out with a swing of his blade, which was deftly intercepted by Sen's parry. あの、鬼の一族に叶うことで、いいか。どうからわざわざお越しとは、一体何のようだね、ヤセの姫。いくつもの鬼の里を襲撃して、宝物や民の命を奪っておいて、しらじらしい。その挙句、羅説を量産し
土方さんの不安が的中しねえことを祈ってたんだけどなるほど土方君はそこまで私を疑っていたのですか Say I knew I was right with my snake analogy! Kodo, why are your lines so low? What the fuck? The rhythmic clang of Heiske and Sanansan's swords clashing into one another echoed like thunder, but neither giving the other a chance to rest. Sun and Sun flipped his sword so that the blade was pointed towards the ground, attempted to stab Heisuke with a downward strike. Heisuke thwarted his move, however, twisting his body to avoid the strike as he retaliated with a swift jab. Sun and Sun hastily parried it, and the two shared a satisfactory grin in respect to each other's technique. Todok, あ。私と共にラセツの未来にかけてみる気はありませんか。こういうことだよ。コードさんと共に行けば、我々はさらなるラセツの真実に手が届く。その中に我々の寿命を伸ばす手立てや人に戻る方法すらあるかもしれません。Yo, that face! Holy shit! God! But I know. I know Heske. Heske ain't gonna give in to this shit. Jordan, Daro! It was a dance of swords. <laughs> dance of swords! Oh, hold up. Isn't that the name of this song? I think it is. It was a dance of swords. Both, both participants trading blows with the full force of their weight behind each strike after bouncing back to catch their breath. It was ebb and flow, a maelstrom of fiery steel. Even if their swordsmanship was equal, however, one of them had a clear, unfair advantage. Heske! Behind you! Heske hadn't even bothered to look over his shoulder as he kicked backwards at the Fury Soldier! Eh, that's cool. Although Heske's ability to multitask was impressive. The split second of distraction was an ample chance for Sun and Sun to identify and exploit a vulnerable opening. Please, no! Sanansan dodged a frantic flurry of Heske's swings, grinning wildly like a cat ready to pounce on a rat. Heske's eyes widened in horror upon realizing his current predicament. Sanansan once more flipped his sword upside down, dodging a panic slash from Heske to stab his blade deep into his combatant's chest. Ah!
せめてもたむけです仲間の手で引導を渡してあげましょう素晴らしい。仮説の研究のためなら、かつての仲間さえ容赦なく切り捨てるとは。いや、私の片腕にふさわしいよ、サンナン君。こんなことで褒められても、嬉しくもなんともありません。Blood of froth from Heskes blubbering mouth. The side upon which San and San sneered coldly. None of this is real, I prayed. I wanted nothing more than to deny that any of this was happening in real time. I fell to my knees, listening to Hayes get gurgle in his own blood. I hate everything right now. I hate everything. That's how I feel. I hate everything right now. <laughs> I awoke lying in a sparsely furnished room with a ringing headache. Touching my hand to my cheek to trace the dried stab cut. Details of what happened towards the end of being in Kanai Temple were fuzzy, but I had ga later gathered that I had been taken to Shirakawa Castle in Oshu. Oshu, a city of culture that allegedly is second only to Kyo in terms of arts, culture, and entertainment. It was famously divided at the end of the Boshin War. Father occupied this castle alongside his forces, and he saw to it that I was kept under strict house arrest. Up until this point, they hadn't made my imprisonment difficult, much to my surprise. On the contrary, they treated me graciously and with dignity, dignity which was eerie to think about. Of course, that courtesy hadn't extended beyond being able to exit the confines of the locked bedroom. Instead, I was made to wait, wallowing in my pathetic uselessness at ti as time slipped from my hands like sand. One day, two days, three days, hours felt stretched like mochi over the tongue, and soon it became difficult to keep hold of any reasonable track of time. My only frame of reference to approximate the hours of days was when meals were unceremoniously carried to my room. Today, I'm not hungry. それは残念です。しかし、こうして私が君の世話をするというのもなんだか不思議ですね。新選組にいたときはあなたが私の世話をしてくれていたというのに。What happened to Hesuke, Sen, and Kimikiku? I interrupted his anecdote in frustration. San and San thinned his eyes, letting out a heavy sigh as he recited the same answer as he had given before. I didn't believe it, but I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it, but I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it, but I didn't believe it. 
遺体は寛永寺の忍ばずの池に沈めましたユラエ嘘ではありませんあなたも目の前で見たでしょう東堂君が私に切られて倒れる姿をはい Who are you? This isn't the son of son I know. You killed him. You were friends. Katsute no nakama no machina i de shu. Ima no watashi wa shinsen gumi socho de wa arimasen. Makoto no hata o steta o toko na no desu ka. Colonel, an adversary position to the chief of the Shinsengumi, second only to the chief in terms of rank. My teeth were harshly gritted, creaking in contempt. He was rubbing it in my face, taking pleasure from my helplessness, shattering what remained of my trust. Luckily for myself, neither father nor son on son had bothered to take my Kodachi from me. As I reach for it slowly with my hand, the door startled me as it slid open, and I snapped my hand back to the side of my hip. Shizuru no yosu wa dou ka ne, Sanran kun. Kochira ni kite itan desu ka? Toku ni kawari wa arimasen yo. Father, Kaoru. Eh? Son na me de ore o miru no. I still want to slap the fuck out of Kaoru every time I see his goddamn face. Especially after this fucking line. A festering resentment burned in Kaoru's glare, causing the hairs behind my neck to stand upright. I couldn't let them see any signs of weakness in me, though. And have returned the glare twice fold. Tell me, what do you plan on doing with me? What are you plotting, Father? どうするも何も、長年の夢を叶えるために協力してほしいと思っているだけだよ。Your legacy? 私はこれまでずっと落ち水の研究を続けてきた。の光や吸血衝動などの弱点の克服、狂うことなく羅説へなれるようにと。だが、本当の目的は、落ち水の効能の強化ではない。この国に住むすべての人へ、あの奇跡の霊薬が行き渡るよう、落ち水を量産することなんだよ。A crooked, joyous grin warped over Father's face. Hearing what his true intentions were was anything but joyous, though, and I was beginning to feel queasy imagining the world he had envisioned. Sanan san and Kaoru merely nodded in silence. Wait, so all this time you've been masquerading this as a weapon? But you want civilians to take it. Ah, Sibarashi Daro. Stotoni no Kubetsua Nakunari, Moniga Futuni Krasiri Yonaka Tonar. Higoya Bioki de Nakunari Monomo Heri, Okuno Inochi no Squareru. Either this is a bold lie or they just can't give Kodo the most. keep his story straight for Kodo. さらには、迫り来る外国に対して
民のすべてが無敵の兵士と化すのだよ。だが、この計画には難点があってね。落ち水の原料は限られたもので、大量生産が難しい。そこで、私は試行錯誤を重ね、やがて発見するに至ったのだ。落ち水の培養に最も適しているのは鬼の血液だとね。Don't tell me。献血の女鬼であるお前はその最も優れた血の持ち主であり、私の夢を体現した存在なのだよ。There was once a time when I couldn't help but notice the innate kindness resting in father's eyes. That time had ended, replaced by a salaciousness that haunted me to my core. It enveloped me, causing me to shiver with fear, and I took a tepid step backwards from him. No! I would never, ever help you do such a horrifying thing! I threw a fit, shaking my head in a white hot rage. Father, who cut his teeth saving the lives of his patients, was proposing to infect the country for his own delusional sense of justice. 娘から血を絞り、羅折を量産ですか。親のすることとは思えませんね。何を今更。そもそも、実の娘でもないから当然じゃないか。わ、わい。I wasn't his real daughter? ソシガワリネ。考えてみろよ。もし実の父親だったら、俺がおじさんなんて呼ぶはずないだ。勇気無駄行動は俺たちを本家から誘拐し、計画のためにお前を育てた偽の親。つまりお前はそんな誘拐
挫折の優れた力をねそうかもしれませんね No, I think そんなに慌てては事実だと言っているようなものだ<笑>ああ、私とてお前がすぐに挫折の素晴らしさを理解できるとは思っていない時間はまだあるんだ私の計画がどれだけ壮大なのか三男君に教えてもらうといいそうすればお前もきっと父さんの言うことが理解できるだろう Father waxed on condescendingly not bothering to wait as he beckoned Kaoru to follow his exit 城内の一部は出入り自由としておこうではあとは頼んだよ三男君ええ、わかりました。As father and Kaoru sauntered out of the room, a somber mood fell heavily throughout the room. I shot Sanasan a menacing glare, hoping that he'd stand no chance of missing how upset I felt. His betrayal shattered my confidence in him. He had played me for a fool, and I felt. Doubtedly foolish for having believed in him. Sanasan murdered Heiske in cold blood, knocked me unconscious, and abducted me to bring me here. For the time being, I hated him more than anything. And yet. But I shiva, Kiniga, Kekakuni, Sando, Stekreru, Set Tok Shiro to Meji Rareteimas. とりあえずは行きましょうか。私の部屋でお茶でもお出ししますよ。By my estimation, it had been somewhere close to ten days since I was held captive in a cramped room. Getting out of it hadn't necessarily improved my foul mood, but being able to stretch my legs and take in a breath of fresh air was a welcome change. As Sun and Sun led me down the hallway, I first observed how eerily spacious and devoid of life the castle was, likely attributed to all the furies on patrol. Well, this is a room. Eventually, Sun and Sun stopped in front of his door, pausing for a second before sliding it open to reveal a bare room filled with an array of stacked documents. It bore no resemblance to his room for when we lived with Shinsengumi, so I assumed it was assigned to him rather than chosen. He then poured me a cup of tea. Sateto. So, what do we have to talk about? Well, then let me ask you a question first. What is it? 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 Is this really what you want? Are you oblivious to how insane my father sounds? He's gone mad. I can't believe what he's planning on forcing everyone to drink the water of life. Sansei to kotaetara do shimasu. Okay, now I have the urge to slap Sanan. 自分が羅折であることでこれほど苦しみ続けるぐらいなら世界を私と同じように変えてしまおうひねくれた人間ならそう考えてもおかしくないと思いますが I couldn't be further from the truth I know you Sanan san there's kindness inside of you that's why none of this makes sense to me You aren't cruel. You're just misunderstood. Honin no mahe de soreo yimaska. Hitoni yasashi to yuaretanoa. Zuiven to natskashi o nakigashimasne. 
A gentle smile formed in Sanasan's thin lips, but as he chewed on the word for a moment, for a minute longer, his expression became suddenly bitter. I bit my lip nervously, sitting at the opposite end of Sanansan's piercing gaze, until he shook his head. ふう。then why go through all of this? Why did you sneak out of the Shinsengumi to work under my father? I don't care. Please, I just need to know. I need to hear it from you so I can know. Whether or not to trust you. Rasetsu, Iki Nagarae Saseru Tame. So she. Karera of Tadabi Hitoni Modos Tamedes. Alyssa's smile curled in the corner of Sanansan's mouth, warm and fleeting like a summer sunset. Then he pulled the collar of his shirt to expose his bare chest. What? I was aghast, throwing my hands over my mouth. What? His skin had dried and cracked like stone, stretching over his pale, narrow left shoulder. Oh. What happened to you? To your arm? She's thus.私が連れてきたラセツ隊の一部にもこうした前兆が出ているものがいます。むしろよく持った方でしょうね。三年以上前からラセツだった身としては。そう、サナンさんは死んだ。Is そういうことです。あのまま新選組にいたところで、我々は座して死を待つだけでしたから。だから私は新選組を裏切り、君を裏切り、東道君を殺したのです。私と私を信じてついてきてくれた羅雪隊の大使たちの命を救うために。Hesuke wasn't so lucky, though, was he? Kare wa mizukara horobu koto o erabimashita. Sore nara ba semete watashi no te de to. Honto ni zanen desu. Sanasan turned his head wistfully, hastily covering his chest back up as he glanced off to the side in contemplation. いつかはこの日が来るだろうと覚悟を決めていたつもりでした。羅雪となったのが私だけなら東道君と同じ道を選んだでしょう。ですが、私は多くのものを羅雪へと変えてきました。その彼らを見殺しにして。私が先に朽ちていくわけにはいかなかったのです。ラセツの身に誇りを持っていたつもりでしたが、この有様です。サナさんがフッドバッドライスオブラフ。
and I couldn't help but feel sorrow at his lamentable position. Of course, I still couldn't forgive him for killing Heske, nor had I any intention of doing so. But what right did I have to criticize him for fighting to shape his own destiny? There was an altruistic, altruistic end to his dastardly means. Under his wings were the fragile lives of the Furies he swore to protect from those who had them condemned to remain hidden in the shadows. そんな行動自体。もはや全てが無意味なものと化しつつあるのですから。What A regretful frown covered Sonansan's face, and I said, You're still here. Please. Don't let it get to you. A sullen glow twinkled faintly in Sanonson's eye, and I reached out to touch his soft, rosy cheeks. I wondered if they felt as warm to him as they did to me. If somehow I could transfer the heat of my f in my fingers to his face, I could get through to him, and so I moved to cup his cheeks with both of my hands. You are still alive. Nakara, it the irudesho. Mojiki watashi no karada wa kuzurete. But for the time being, you're still here. Am I wrong? If the only thing you've taken from any of this is that you don't feel like you'll ever become human. Sure, the options of returning back to normal might not be available yet. But there may be a way to prolonging your life while you're still Fury. <laughs> Silence hovered between us, save for the sound of steam hissing from my teacup. As soon as I let my words sink, he bit his lips and hastily wrapped his hand around my arm. I gasped, and he spoke under his breath. No, not as much as you might think. I think what you just said sounds beautiful. Listen, when all of this is over, why don't you and I go on a journey? Just the two of us. We could find a quaint town where no one knows our name, where there are no furies anywhere, and we could make dinner every night, and... But what if, like you said, 
You could return to being a human. No. It shouldn't be conditional. We could do it even if you were still a fury. Can't you see? We could build a home together, and while you read or write, I could serve you tea, just the way you like it. You know, when you disappeared from the headquarters, I was worried sick about you. I searched for you day and night, and not a single day went by where I hadn't thought about you. You have no idea how much I've missed you. That glimpse of your face, your soothing voice. And that's when I began to realize how drawn I am to you. That doesn't matter. I, I. A son and son interjected. He grabbed my chin with his index finger and thumb and pulled me closer to him. With an inspective, focused gaze, he stared at me. What do you plan on doing to me? I attempted to budge out of his grip, but he was forceful, tugging on my chin just as quickly. The longer he delayed his answer, the more anxious I became, until at last, I felt the tinge of his whispered words upon my sweaty face. I could neither accept nor retort, offering instead to grunt begrudgingly. Well, maybe I like dreaming. This time, I promise not to let my faith in you waver. All that I ask is that you have faith in me too, son and son, and that you'll let me go wherever you go. Just please, don't leave me behind again. A life without you is one I can't afford to experience. Sun on Sun inched his face forward. Suddenly, my face went numb, feeling Sun on Sun's tender lips pressed against mine. I've broken my concentration, thanks. <laughs> Ready for what? <laughs> Never mind, son, and broke my concentration again. <laughs> son and son took hold of me, keeping his arm fixed on the small of my back as he drew me into his warm embrace. I felt the nibble of his soft lips against my own, followed by his tongue flicking against mine gently. My cheeks were scorching red from blush, but even they could not compare to my heart's burning fire. Every hair on my body stood, engulfing me in a pleasant tinge as Sun and Sun muttered in my ear. Anata ga 
私は命に変えてもあなたのことを守りますいいですねこの先私はあなたが望まない行動も取ることになるでしょうそれでもいいんですねはいこんな私のことあなたはくっ<笑> And we have reached the final round Round four. In the middle of his sentence, Sun and Sun clutched his chest. It was unmistakable. This was bloodlust. I decided to, and say it with me for the final time, this、uh, route. Give him blood. Here, take me. I trust you. Have some of my blood. Out of reflex, I drew out my Kodachi and slit my wrist. I told you, I can't live without you, and if your survival depends on blood, then mine is yours to take. Please, there's no need to hold back. I am yours. So use me as you please. Please, son and son, drink my blood. I don't know where we're going now. I'm g o n n a I'm g o n n a want it. I need want it for that. Gah. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Moonlight cloaked behind thin clouds shone above us. It was a muted glow, enough to underscore the feeling of, no- of loneliness as I sat inside of my bedroom. I leaned my head against the wall, trying not to fall into a daze from the flurry of anxious thoughts. I wanted instead to think about his face. Ah,、oh, son and son. He had overcome so much strife and turmoil, and even being temporarily replaced by Ito. In order to reassert his worth, he did the unthinkable, sacrificing his humanity by drinking the water of life. Well, at first, he had been able to regain his place. It came at the cost of a life filled with obscurity. Even as the burden of his duties increased, as the shogun had continued to, ra- to wage his unwinnable war, he was ostracized, left to wither alone into dust. No matter what San and San had said to explain it, what did anyone have to do to deserve this unjust fate? Of course, he wasn't completely innocent, 
nor was he merely an observer to how things unfolded. I wasn't sure if anyone, least of all myself, could fault him for trying to shape his life for the better. There are so many things I wish I could say to him. Not just to son and son, to you and father as well. Are we having a moment with Kaoru? Kaoru periodically appeared on my doorstep with condescending taunts and fits of laughter. No matter how often he visited me, however, I could never restrain my anger when he opened his mouth, because he opens his mouth. Why are you here today, Kaoru? If you're going to try and convince me again to cooperate with Father, then you might as well turn and leave now. What? I thought you and father were collaborating together. Oh. Kaoru gave a cold smirk. Both father and myself were easily convinced of Kaoru's loyalty to father's cause, but... Perhaps he had an ulterior motive for joining and I felt uneasy wondering what he was plotting to. Then, Kaoru... Eh? Were you expecting me to come willingly? Right, so I'm afraid for whatever Kaoru has in store. Hi! This is the moment my heart skipped a beat! What? Kaoru was intentionally dragging his feet as he's escorted me to Shirakawa Castle's common room. In its heyday, the common room hosted plenty of noble guests for diplomatic and luxur luxurious feasts. At the head of the table stood son on son and father. In the center of the hall were Sen and Kimigiku, encircled by a menacing group of furies, all of whom licked their lips and had red glowing eyes. Sen! Kimikiku! Uh... What happened? Muzukashi Hanashi de Arima Senyo. Kanojo Tachinga Kosokoso to Senyu Statokoro, Watashinga Guzen Mitskemashte. Koshite Toraeta to Shibariange, Techoni Okoshi Tadaita to you, Akedes. What? When Sana san had mentioned precarious actions, I thought he meant something dangerous for me, but... Sen and Kimigiku? 
They didn't deserve this. いや、さすがだね、サンナンク。元新選組は随分と花が効くようだ。番犬として私も大いに助かるよ。私はこの城の番犬というわけですか。Ow. Father ignored Sonansa's snide remark as he started as he stared back at Sen. Sate, Shizurumo Kitato Korode, Ono Shinyu Shan Shimatsu. Father, please don't! Don't you dare touch them! Ani, Shintai Sirkoto and I, Yase no Hime no Chiva Yakuni Tatska, eh? Ashina Korosu Hatsga Naida. Father hadn't reacted to Kimigiku's snide remark either, instead, keeping his gaze fixed upon Sen. He tilted his head in eerie contemplation, playfully stroking his chin as he deliberated aloud. So if I agree to help you, you'll spare their lives? Fine, under one condition, let Sen and Kimikiku go free. Although I could hear the tinge of sarcasm in his words, I felt so defeated that there was no use in becoming rallied by his taunts. I couldn't see myself living at the expense of Sen and Orkimikiku's lives, so it was the logical conclusion. Besides, if my blood was all that they had needed, then surely he wouldn't be as bad as I imagined. If that's what father... No, if this is what son and son wants, then all of the more reason for me to give into their demands. Ah, so da, son nan Father's sudden aside deflated any and all hope I had. A terrifying glimmer appeared in his eyes, as if he were twisting a knife into my gut with pleasure. そして、もう二度と部屋から出さないように。それはどういうことですか？これから毎日血を流してもらわなくてはならないからね。部屋から出す必要もないだろう。Oh, great. なことなら、もっと早く Wasted all of their time? He was calling my time with the Shinsengumi. All of the lessons, the memories, the friends. A waste. Koda! Kono koga donna umoide! Anta o sagashte taka wakatte no? It's fine, Sen. 
Nothing any of us said or did could make a difference. As father had fallen into a depravity, I couldn't follow. It was no longer the father whom I loved. My heart felt blank, and as Sana San approached me, I shot him a somber look. Wasn't he turned up about all of this as well? I felt compelled to speak, to get through to Sun and Sun. Sun and Sun. Do you also feel like all of this was a waste of time? As in, when I first introduced myself to you and the rest of the Shinsengumi, do you regret the time we spent together? Did it mean any did it mean nothing to you? どうしたんだね、三男君。純血の鬼の血を用いれば、挫折の研究はさらに飛躍的に進んだろう。その中には君の求めるものもきっとある。その崩れかけた体を捨てて、君は人に戻れるのだよ。それに君の命は君一人の
I wiped my eyes with both of my hands, unsure if I was hallucinating when I saw... How? I thought Sanon son murdered you. Father's voice trembled with rage, and all of the surviving furies suddenly sprinted towards Hesuke, Sen, and Kimigiku in a ravenous spree. The two demons, however, subdued the furies easily. Proving they were mobile all along. My life had turned upside down in an instant. I was dumbfounded, lost in the spectacle of chaos unfolding in front of me. It was almost too good to be true. I really wondered how long he was gonna keep the charade up. Oh. Eh, but as you go, good morning, could that demo another guy soon in your whole or she had to create a husband. I already said this car I told you can you are what I see me kill it as she by you wish to more I must not come out or she thought on that about. さすがに警戒も緩むと思いましたからね。ちよくゆうぜさんなんさ。あの時は本気で切ってきたじゃねえか。や<笑>、yeah, still absolutely stabbed the fuck out of you。I like how this just runs parallel to Hitchikata's。俺があの時狙いを刺しなかったらどうするつもりだったんだよ。私は最初から信じていましたから昔からの仲間でしょう The two exchanged genial smiles and suddenly everything came together I couldn't contain my own giddiness realizing that Sanon-san had been two steps ahead this entire time One by one Sanon-san, Hesuke, Sen, and Kimigiku hacked the incoming furies, and blood splattered almost over almost every surfa surface of the common room. He really had me going. And the fact that Hesuke was alive, or that Sen and Kimigiku weren't in real danger. He could have told me about all of this. I feel like a fool for being the only one in the dark. I was flustered and truly deeply afraid. Sanan-san's voice trailed off, and he thinned his eyes as he directed a glare towards father. Sun and Sun, always looking for a fight. There was neither humor nor livid livity in Sun and Sun's eyes. Behind Sun and Sun's glasses, I watched hatred fester like wildfire. Father too caught sight of this and gasped. よくわかった。見込みがあると思って迎え入れたが、ようにに流されてこの決断とは、君の所詮は人を捨てきれぬ半端者ということか
father raised a hand in the air, making a strange movement which prompted the room's doorways to open, revealing a frightening horde of furies. There weren't just ten or even twenty of them. A multitude of furies suddenly had us surrounded, causing my stomach to sink like a stone. まさかこれだけの数の羅説を生み出していたとは。さて、それはどうでしょうね。やってみてはいかがです。<laughs> Upon father's command, the viewers spurred into motion, pointing their ferocious eyes towards us. It was do or die, and I took a deep gulp. Right in front of me, a fury spun on his heel before beheading his nearby comrades. Their heads soaring into the air, propelled by geysers of blood. Oh, yes. It set off like a chain reaction as each of the Furies began evis... Eviscate... Evi... Eviscrating? Their own in... Oh, whatever word. Their own in barbarous fashion. A bloody pandemonium erupted, and as the brutal display continued, Father gazed on in horror. どういうことだ。なぜ私の忠実な兵士たちが同士討ちを？おや、もう忘れですか？この場にいるラセス兵のほとんどは確かに忠実な兵でしょうが。私が率いてきた新選組のラセス隊士を舞台に取り込んだのがあなたの敗因です。I took a grand a gander around the room in awe. Hidden amongst the ranks of wolfish furies were warriors whose eyes maintained a sense a semblance of sanity. I recognized them as former Shinsengumi warriors. It was the Fury Corps here to save us from peril. Sanan Socho no Yutorida. Retacha. Rasets in Aptemo. Sin Sengumitoste. Bokorio Motte Tataka Techta. Kono Rasets no Kurushimi. Chieno Kawakua. Oretachi Dagi the Jibunda. Compared to Father's Fury, the Shin Sengumi Fury Corps were adept. Seemingly invincible against a, tra a tide of makeshift, weak willed warriors. The Shinsengumi men roared, hurling men forward as they sucked their blades into, into their enemy's flesh. For San and San, it was a master, master stroke. The finishing play in a strategic betrayal against my father. <laughs> さて、これでもう五自慢のラセス兵はまともに使えませんよ。降伏してください、コードさん。あなたには羅説の秘密をすべて話してもらいます。ここまで来て諦めろだと。ようやく手が届いた私の夢を。ふざけるな。認められるもの
If you take the serum, you'll only do yourself more harm! Father ignored my words smugly, bringing the glass vial to his lips. Just as he was about to swallow the serum. Oh. Kaoru's voice cut through the noisy discord, and all of us gasped as he shoved his blade into Father's chest. Blood began spewing from his mouth, dribbling down his chin as he dropped lifelessly to the ground. His murderer wore a devilish grin, taking pleasure in the sight of his kill. どういうつもりですか、ナミモ君。行動さんと君は協力関係だったのでは。協力関係。この男と。聞きます。言わないでほしいな。お前たちの動きに乗る形になったけど、俺だってこの機会をずっと狙ってたんだ。Kaoru kneeled beside father, who was having a spasm in a pool of, of his own blood, before whispering. That's the Kaoru we all know. Kaoru punctuated his scathing diatribe with a swift kick to father's lifeless body before glaring at me. He was far gone. Beyond the point of return. Kaoru, do you hate me? Then you should have approached me first. Why did you have to kill father? を殺した。その隙に俺たちを誘拐したことにある。Kaoru yanked the bloody sword from out of father's chest, sauntering towards me with contempt. Light glimmered faintly atop the blade pointed at my neck. But... Sanan San and Heisuke came to my rescue thwarting my twin brother before his blade could touch me. The tip of Sanasan's sword was thrust into Kaoru's heart while Heisuke restrained Kaoru's ribcage. cage. <laughs> 
tu cosa. Ogni diaro ora ga.私たちは人間の体で鬼やラセツと戦ってきました。ああ、剣の技量は鬼とかラセツとか関係ねえんだよ。嘘だ。これは雪だけの。どうにですが彼を止めたのは私たちだけではなかったようです。As Kaoru toppled over, a figure appeared behind him. It was Father, solemnly encoded in dried blood. He clutched a ripped piece of fabric from Kaoru's shirt in his hand. I realized in hindsight that Father was the one to pull Kaoru from charging forward to kill me. Father, why? Father could barely support his own weight, and he pressed his hand over his chest in pain. Father, please! You can make it! Kodo-san... ...mada shinde wa ikenai... ...anata ni wa mada! Father took one last breath... ...and dropped to his knees. As his body met the ground... He exploded into a cloud of ash and disappeared into dust. Th Thank you, Father. Kodo Yukimura's plan to infect the world with the vile water of life had come to an abrupt end. With it, my father's legacy and name had been tarnished. Both Sen and Kimigiku, having performed their duties, traveled back to Kyo within their hidden village. Involvement in human affairs had normally been forbidden, but this, I think, was a special case. Knowing Sen, I felt that they would continue to keep a watchful eye on our people from the shadows. Heske and the rest of the Fury Corps, however, having seen to it that Father's plot was put to an end, Planned to res resume their fight against the Imperial Army. It was time for Sanonsan and I to depart from Shirakawa Castle, and Heske was escorting us to the entrance. We had delayed her bittersweet farewell for as long as we possibly could. Mist obscured the dense forest outside of the castle, and we relied on the moon's graceful silver light to exchange our fond words. For the Furies, Moonlight was a welcome, refreshing sight, and they could walk and roam freely under its dazzling gleam. The friendly chatter of the Shinsengumi's furry corpse hammered around, hummed around us as we spoke with Heske. Heske, where do you plan on going from here? みんなまだ戦っているんだ。きっと俺たちの力が必要になるさ。そうですね。追い詰められた幕府軍にとっては、これからが山場となるでしょう。それこそ一人でも多くの兵が必要となることは間違いない。
ならば私は三男さんにはすることがあるだろう。三男さんは、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ええ、ですが本当に見つかるか分かりませんよそれに何年かかるかそれって時間とかどうでもいいんだ俺たちラセスの希望なんだよそうですねきっと見つけますよヘスケスマーウォーリーバカサナンサンエンマイセフ In spite of their harrowing circumstances, these men placed their faith in us and helped us prevent the world from plunging into bleak ruin. Yet, no record of their heroism would ever exist. Their memory would live on in our hearts alone. Thank you, Eske. Hijikata can be your s h i k u t a i t e k u d a s a i 結局彼にはあなたが割れたままお別れとなってしまいましたからいや土方さんは最初から本気で三男さんのことを疑ったりなんてしちゃいなかったここからは多少俺の推測になっちまうんだけどさ土方さんが出撃を禁じたのは本当に三男さんのことを心配してたからだと。そもそもあの人が裏切ったって思ってたならその場で切り捨てるってそれにわざわざ俺を江戸に残してまで様子を見させたりしねえだろへ<笑>そうですねあの時の私は自分のことで精一杯で土方君の気持ちに気づけませんでした土方君は私を守ろうとしてくれていた新選組はやはり私の居場所なんですねじゃあ俺そろそろ行くよ二人とも元気だな An affable smile wrapped around Hesuke's face He spun around and pranced away to meet up with the rest of his fury cohort to begin their long trek Hesuke And for all our friends in the Shinsengumi, may the fortune of war be in your favor. Sanon san and I curtly bowed in the direction they had begun walking, and we turned to face each other. Let's go, Yukimura. This is the way we are going to go. Yes. 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 I'm never leaving you out of my sight ever again. Right. Um, I don't know how to feel about everything. I'm left silent. I, that, yeah, that's exactly how I feel. It is, it's better than. Cosmos. <laughs> It is better than Cosmos, who I currently have at the bottom. I just. I, I think the problem is that I had played Hijikato's route before, so as soon as we got to the certain point in this route, I knew exactly what he was gonna pull. It was just a matter of when. So. I don't know how to feel. It's enjoyable, but、uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, 
Well, we got to see what the epilogue is, because I am curious. Eventually, there it is. June 1869. In Ezo, a snowy island in the north northernmost part of the country, cherry blossoms floated like a distant memory of the season long since past. The remnants of the shogunate forces were depleted, having tendered their surrender to the Imperial Army after their numbers made fighting an act of futility. A sea of broken arrows and swords covered the ground. So too had the Shinsengumi given up hope as they joined the shogunate army in admitting total defeat. Bodies scorched and mutilated beyond recognition were scattered atop knolls throughout Ezel, and in the cold, there was no way of telling who was who. Nevertheless, one thing in particular stood out to me. Every single warrior, living or dead, who had fought in these lands had given their everything. No sign of cowardice or retreat tainted this scared, this sacred battleground. The Dawn of the New Age was rising in the East. As for San and San and myself, we embarked on a different path, one way from the friends, one away from the friends we knew and loved. The snow's piling on pretty hard. Hangretara kiken deskara, shikari te o nigitte ite kudasai. Snowfall, white as cotton, fell thick upon our tired so shoulders as we trudged through the sleet. The Boshin War had only recently ended. Sanan, or Keske, as I now call him, and I were set on traveling west, as my father suggested, crossing our home's borders to a land completely unknown to us. We traveled through Ezo, and eventually across the ocean, to a place called Europe, without any real sense of direction or location. It scares me for a second. This is cute! Yo, this is so cute! Oh my god! He's so cute! And for once, I'm not freaking out over Chizuru having her hair down. <laughs> As I have with both Nagakura and Okitas. It's so hard to see snowfall at this time of year. Every time I spoke, white vapor followed my words like a plume of smoke. The biting chill made my teeth chatter, and I had never endured such harsh elements. No matter how many layers of clothing I wore, I shivered uncontrollably. Mmm, that I'm fine. If you're okay, then I'm okay, Keske. <laughs> we finally said it. We finally said the first name. It's not Yukimura, it's Chizuru now. We have reached the point. あなたを抱きしめる大義名分がなくなってしまうじゃありませんか。ああ、is it was that below his impersonal veneer, 
Gasuke possessed a childlike sense of joy and curiosity. Throughout our travels together, he frequently poked fun at me for being meek or averse to new experiences. But I had taken his actions as tokens of affection, and on this day, our love blossomed under snowflakes. Fine then. Yes, I'm cold. Hmm, I'm shivering to the bone. San and San was egging me on, being purposefully coy to satisfy his playfulness. Uh, well... His face became suddenly stern as I approached my own within inches. Are you really going to make me jump through all these hoops for you? Mmm, fine. I'm freezing. Would you mind if I bundled up next to you? Keisuke quickly wrapped me in his arms and I sunk against his thick coat and felt myself relax. My cheeks were as rosy as they had ever been, though perhaps not simply from the tundra. I hastily changed the subject, staring off in the distance at the blanket of snow in front of us. But anyway, our destination is pretty close now, isn't it? So this. この先の国には人の生き地を進する鬼の伝承があるらしいですからね。吸血鬼と呼ばれる西洋の鬼。落水は彼らの血だと言われています。I really hope this trip through the cold is worth it. We walk together hand in hand feeling our feet sink slowly into the plush snow beneath us. In the back of my mind, I clung onto an inconvenient truth, that one day, Keisuke's body could turn to ash. I would periodically awake in the dead of night from nightmares, afraid of his warmth eventually leaving me. But without fail, Keisuke would comfort me by stroking my hair and softly kissing my forehead, never failing to repeat one thing. We've reached the end! <laughs> oh, my lord. I don't know how to feel. <laughs> Why is the achievement case, Kedia? Why? Why? Case, Kedia. Uh, are we done though? No, I still got some DLC to do. Where is he? There he is. Eighteen sixty eight, January. Okay. The Shinsengumi's bittersweet return to Edo came following the defeat at the Battle of Toba Fushimi. I slid open the door to Sanansun's office and found him with his nose buried into a, sta a stack of research notes we'd found under a floorboard at my old house. Oh, 
ろくに休んでいないのでしょう、mm, It's not that bad. The last thing Sanasa needed to add to his list of worries was concern for my health, so I tried to dismiss it, but he saw right through me. Oh, yeah, so now. 人手不足と聞いていたのでてっきりいろいろと雑用を言いつけられているのだと思っていましたが他の大使が忙しくしている中一人のんびり休んでいられるほどずぶとい神経の持ち主には見えませんし。Well, I'm a little tired, but... It was a cunning observation, and I was reminded how keenly aware Sanansan was and always had been. In all honesty, I hadn't desired to dwell on my own exhaustion and came to discuss something else.、Uh, so, have you found anything in those documents? Seems like you've been hard at work, too. What do you mean? Lango ya Futsuno de Cacareta Shirio and Nansatska are no desga. I niku, Gogakuni wa Akarukuna in one day. Ah, Sanon san, is it all right for me to take a peek at the notes? Kimi? Hm, my father actually gave me some basic Dutch language books when I was younger. I'd maybe have some help to you. This is news to me! Kimi no teo azrawa seru hodo no koto de arima sen yo. Hea ni modotte yasumi nasai. No, really, I'm fine. I'm more resilient than you think. Sleep deprivation is nothing to me. Kimi wa lasset tai no taishi de wa arima sen. たとえこの新選組に落ち水を持ち込んだのが君の父上だったとしても責任を感じる必要などありませんよ。I hadn't taken it that way. I merely thought that I could be useful for you. Who knows what may come of it, son and son? Just let me take a peek, please. 雪村君。Sanansan's eyes looked back at me dubiously beside the glow of candlelight, and they kept their gaze fixed on me until. I apologize. しかったわけではないのですがまあいいでしょう君がそこまで言うのなら遠慮なく利用させてもらいますよ What? His demeanor had drastically changed from that of five minutes ago and I tilted my head in confusion どうしたのです手伝いたいのではないのですか no, I'm not hesitating. I'm here for whatever you need. If you can think, then I can do it. そういうところが心配だと言っているのですけどね。そうですね。それではまず、お茶を二人分入れてきてくれますか Oh, look! An error. You should say this hour. はいあなたが入れるお茶には羅折体のひいては新選組の運命がかかっているのです Yo, hold on, that sounds familiar That sounds familiar Didn't Hijikata say the same damn thing I feel like it did I think it was back in Fudodo. Saikou no ocha o irete kite kudasai. Kitai shite imasu yo. Understood. I shall prepare some at once. 
With that, I bowed my head and rushed over to the kitchen, putting a hot kettle over the fire. The fate of the Shinsengumi rests upon this tea, and I couldn't disappoint him. I couldn't help but giggle, thinking about something similar the Hijikata had once said to me. I WAS RIGHT! <laughs> the fragrant scent of tea leaves tickled my nose as I waited for steam to rise from the kettle's spout. Game confirming everything I just said. Okay. We're done with Sanam Sun, which means we get to start over in Kyoto Winds and do Eva's route. However, I am not up for it today. <laughs> but uh, hopefully tonight during art stream at uh, 9 p.m. EST. We will be able to spin the wheel during that stream, hopefully, because I need to know who comes after Iba, because we are spamming our way through Kyoto Winds every time, because I have acted through most of the scenes three times through already, and I will pause whenever Iba pops up, but if it doesn't matter, I won't act through it. But, yeah, this was... Something I I still don't know how to feel about the sun and sun. Eba, I want to know how it his ends, cause I've only played the first part. I haven't gone through Edo Blossoms, and I'm curious to see where the fuck this goes. Um, but uh, after that, who is left is uh, that's gonna be on the wheel. Hesuke, Harada, Soma, and Sakamoto. Soma and Sakamoto I have not touched at all. Saito I have touched, but I did his off stream. And of course, uh, Yamazaki is also an option, but I'm leaving him for last, obviously. Because it's no surprise, best boy is last. So, with that, I'm gonna have to say bye-bye. I'll see you next time. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, and watching you're welcome seal and uh, the next time we're gonna be streaming maybe tomorrow if I don't feel too tired otherwise it's gonna be Friday or Thursday it also depends schedule says Friday I know but sometimes I just feel up to it so bye